law. Okay, so some students, they fret, they think like, oh, section B is going to kill them. But actually, it's not. Section B, every year, part A and B is the same. 13 marks, and you literally can score 10 to 12 marks. Even you make some careless mistake, you still pass the question. So I'm not going to go through in detail. Question A, all right, most of the time is to derive the steady state. All right, and the answer is in my lecture notes. Start off with capital, capital accumulation function, etc. So I will not go through this, read my outline, I've given you the basics. But the key thing is check, they said efficiency units of labor. You cannot take shortcut. They already say they want the K cap. So make sure all your discussion has a cap. Don't go and kill yourself and take the easy way out. Okay? So question says, derive the balance growth path. That means, right? Derive the steady, the capital accumulation function, then benefit equals to cost, K star cap. Okay, that's what the examiner wanted. If you're not sure, read through the lecture notes. But in addition, they wanted the growth rates of output and per worker outputs. So growth rate of output is GN plus GA. That's the country's growth. Individual's growth is GA. Technological growth rate. So six marks. The only concern is time management. All right? You are only given five minutes to finish. So you have to do very fast. But once it's accurate, you get the full Five months. Okay? Now let's look at question B. Like I mentioned in my lecture notes, 99% huh? of the time the equation is K half L half. Reason very simple. You don't have a calculator. But you must do square root. You cannot do power one third. Huh? It's very hard, huh, no? Right? It's very hard. So usually it's K half L half. So we've done this in lecture already. So I will not go through. Okay, but you must remember, must find the small y first. You cannot use the big y directly. Find the small y and you will get k to the power of half. So you saw. But I just want to go through the second part for you. Find the saving trait that will maximize consumption. Okay, so give you that outline. Okay, question 1b. So small y is k to the power of half. Okay, so you know if you want to maximize consumption, you must find your k to the power. Alright, okay, what is the condition for kgr? You have drawn it for me just now. Npk must be equal to delta plus gn. The question already says ga is zero. Okay, so FK, this is FK, right? Function of K. So MPK is F prime K. It means differentiate this equation half times K to the power of minus K. So differentiate this function. Okay, then this must be equal to delta plus GN. Alright, and you will get a zero point. So therefore, from there, you find your KGR. So find your KGR first, okay, and you will get a certain value. But the question wanted savings rate, okay. The thing about KGR is you are also at steady state. So your SFK equals to delta plus G. And K. Alright, so you want to find your saving trade. So you take your delta plus GN, again 0 0.1. Go and find your KGR value inside. Divide by your KGR to the power of half. Okay, now if this looks very obscure to you, don't worry. It's simply just substituting everything back. You find your KGR. I can't remember, I think it's 25. Okay, so this is golden rule, it's also a steady state. So the savings function equals to your straight line. But remember there's a k here. 
The top one don't have K, uh, because the top one you are comparing slope. So they don't have a K. But the bottom one, you are comparing your optimal point. Benefit equals to cost. So substitute everything inside. Delta plus GM was 0 0.1. Your K is your KGR. Then FK is K to the power of You will find your saving trade. I think it's 0 0.5. Go ahead and check. Okay, but I want to highlight. Part B, just like that, you finish in 2 minutes, 8 marks. How easy to score at 8 marks like that? And you know your answer if you got a very strange value. You can go backwards and track. That is why I want you to do this topic. Alright, because A and B, which is usually 12 marks, even you make some careless mistake, you will still score 10. Wow. But what is very attractive is you finish on time or even you have extra time. You see, you must do topics that although they look tedious to you, but it is still manageable. You see, so that's why students will usually study this topic for the exam. Because it's very predictable. So you must go and study your derivation, finish in 5 to 10 minutes. Part B, if you know when the moment you see this function, you will be very happy. No need to make wild guesses, you also know the answer. Right? But pay attention that sometimes they also ask for your golden rule because they say you want to maximize consumption. So if you have studied the whole topic, you should know. Okay? This is a standard part C question in the exam. Right? And it was repeated, but recent years it changed. But the standard question was, in what sense is the output on balanced growth exogenous? That means government cannot determine the output growth rate. Right? So part C, the focus of the discussion is the country's growth rate is GN plus GA. Okay, then the output growth per person is GA. So all you need to say is this is predetermined. Cannot be controlled by government. So answers are not long, right? It's highlighting that you knew what the model is about. The model eventually is about country and per person. So the country can grow through population and technological growth rate. The person individually will grow through technological growth rate. But both are predetermined. Okay? It means government cannot control. It's given to government. Right? So it cannot be controlled by government. That's why the model is exogenous. Just one line like that, two marks out of six. Second half of the question, briefly outline other models. Okay, so let me go back to the question. Keyword again, models. One model. So you discuss AK model, but make sure you discuss why is the model endogenous. It means how come government can control. So AK model, government controls savings rates. Right? To control the big K and the big Y. Then the other model is human capital model. How can government control the duration of training? Alright, so Singapore, 10 years education. So you can control duration of training. You can control human capital growth rate. Just like that. So if you look at the very traditional standard economic growth section B, 20 marks, you can score 20. Right? You literally can score full marks. And you can see for section B, you usually don't need to put in real life example. It's just solving it. But remember, you want to manage your time. Okay? It must be within 35 minutes. If you can finish it even earlier, better still, then you have more time for other questions. You see? Alright? Now, I don't want to give you false hope. Okay, and say, oh, okay, this is the standard. So, as a result, I gave you very difficult question. We'll skip two and three first. Let's go to question four. I'll give you the most difficult part C question for this topic. 
I mean, you read the question, you go like, gosh, what is the question asking? Remember, if it is seven to eight marks, you only aim to score another three to four marks. You don't allow yourself to be slaughtered by the enemy. Now, this is really very difficult. Okay, right? Just like our tutorial one, part C. They will always ask you to change the model one. Okay, so the question says there was a one-off increase in labor force. The keyword in the question is one-off, one time only. So it's not population growth. Population growth is for every period. This is only a one-time increase in your L because of more women join the workforce. Alright, okay, so describe the short-term, long-term and transition effects on capital output and consumption per worker. You may assume G equals to zero. The G used in the exam is always technology. Okay, so as you read this question, you're thinking, gosh, what curve to shift? Right, then how would your answers differ? Right, if now expressed in per capita terms rather than per worker. Right, so let's look at this question. Doesn't look tough, but couldn't really fathom what the question wanted. Right, okay. 